Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add a pros and cons table to your Blogger website. So this is the pros and cons table that we're going to add in our website. This is how it looks and it is also responsive. So this is the mobile version and in the mobile version, this is how it looks. We have a different layout for our pros and cons table. And for these icons, uh, the tick and the cross icons, we are using a service called Font Awesome which is a very popular and a reliable service. Now, if you want to know how to create this from scratch, I have a video on that where I created this whole pros and cons table from scratch using HTML and CSS. So if you want to learn that, you can watch my previous video. I will leave the link of the video in the description below. And I'll also leave the link of the source code of this project so that you can just copy and paste it. <laughs> So let's go to the blogger dashboard and uh, here are all the posts. So let's go ahead and add uh, this pros and cons table into a new post. So click on this uh, button called new post and uh, let's add a title. So I'll just type review of our product. And then first of all, we will add some text over here. And after that, we will add this pros and cons table. So let's add some random text. So I'm in this website called lipsum.com and you can just go over here and generate some random text. So I'll just select five and click on generate lorem ipsum code and we'll just copy this from here and paste it over here. So if you are in the HTML view, you have to go back to the compose view and here you have to paste the paragraph. All right now after the paragraph, we will add this pros and cons table. Now to add that you have to go to the HTML view because if you copy the HTML in the compose view, it will be displayed as it is on your page. So let's click on this button and then click on HTML view. So here we can see this is the HTML of our paragraph. Now after the paragraph, let's copy the HTML code. So here I have opened up my project and uh, you can find the link of this project in the description below. So I'll just copy everything inside the body. So this pros cons container division and uh, I'll just paste it over here. All right, now let's click on publish. All right, our post has been saved. Now let's click on view and see how it looks right now. So here we can see our HTML has been copied. So the content is being displayed over here. Now we need to add the CSS so that it will look like this. Now there are two ways to add CSS into your blogger website. You can go to the dashboard and click on theme and uh, then click on customize and then go to advanced and then uh, in this drop down you have to select add css and then you can add the css right here or well, the next option is to go to this theme tab and then click on this down arrow and then click on edit html and you can copy the css in the b skin tag so let's go to the end of the b skin tag you can just search for it by just pressing control F and type less than forward slash B colon skin. All right, now just before the B skin tag ends, let's copy the CSS. So I'll go to the style.css file and I'll just copy this CSS from here and I'll paste it over here. All right, now let's click on save and uh, let's refresh our page. And here we can see our pros and cons table is being displayed over here. The only problem is that the icons are not being displayed. The reason for that is that the icons are from Font Awesome and uh, our theme code doesn't have the Font Awesome link. So let's go to the HTML and if you scroll up here, we can see this is the link of the Font Awesome icons. So let's copy the link from here and uh, let's go to the top of our code. Now here we can see this is the starting of the head tag. Now you can paste the link inside the head tag. So I'll just paste it over here. And let me just bring it all in one line. All right, now let's click on save. Now let's go back to the post and let's refresh our page. And now we can see the icons are also being displayed. Let's also check out the mobile version. And it is also working all right. So that's basically it for this video. We have added the pros and cons table to our blogger website. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. 
and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.